making connections and doing the pairwise comparisons and super decisions uh, for AHP. So we've got our general model built here, and in this case we're doing a SWOT analysis, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. And we've got some general nodes within each of our clusters, but we still need to do the pairwise comparisons. So I'm going to structure this as just a hierarchy for purposes of ease in this case, but we need to do the, the connections. So first thing we, we want to do is if we click our little do connections icon up here in the, the menu ribbon, we can do the connections. So we're going to connect things to the goal first. We click on the goal, left click on the goal, and then right click on the items that you want to connect to it. So you're probably going to want to connect all of the different nodes within the clusters uh, for this simple hierarchy. So once we've got all of those nodes connected to our goal, uh, we're all set. Once we're done with that, we can turn off our do connections. And if, if we look at the little compass up here, right next to the question that says show node connections, we can click on that. Then when we highlight over goal, we can see everything connected. If we wanted to make it a network, as opposed to a hierarchy, we could click our do connections again, left click on say customer proximity, and then we can right click on the things within there, those nodes within the clusters that we want to um, compare them with. Maybe we don't want to compare them within clusters, but we want to compare them across clusters. Then we still have a, a hierarchy, it's not a network, but now we're comparing things across clusters because in, in some instances they may be connected in some way. So I'm going to turn all these off uh, so that we just have this simple SWOT hierarchy. And right now I'm assuming that strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats are weighted equally. Once we have those connections done, then we can go to our Assess, Compare, do our pairwise comparisons, and it brings up our rating model. So we see right now we're choosing our node cluster, and our node, uh, our golden cluster, and we're first doing our opportunities. So we can go through here and do all of our pairwise comparisons for our opportunities. I'm just randomly selecting them. Once we're done with our opportunities cluster, then we can go to our strengths by clicking the little arrow here, and likewise do our strengths to rate them. Here we are. Again, click on the arrow to go to the next one. Oh, and if you want to keep track when they're completed, you check on the little complete comparisons so that you know they're done. And then you go to the next one. And we can do our comparisons there. Again, I'm just randomly assigning them. And you can tell it's random because my inconsistency measure up here under results is really high. I'm done with those comparisons. Then I can go to my weaknesses. Do those comparisons. There are more nodes within this cluster, so I have more comparisons to do. Let's scroll down. There we are. And we're almost finished with our comparisons in this one. Here we are. Now we're complete. And that should be the last one. There we are. So we've now completed all our comparisons. And then when we're done, we can exit out of this and save our model so that we don't lose our results. And that's how you create the connections and do your pairwise comparisons and super decisions.